Good morning, students. In this session, we are going to discuss about setting and hardening mechanism of cement. Coarse outcome. The coarse outcome is exploring the chemistry behind the technology of building materials, and the learning outcome is at the end of the session, students will be able to understand the mechanism behind the setting and hardening process of cement, and students will be able to gain the knowledge of gypsum rule in setting process. And students will be able to gain the knowledge of setting time and factors affecting it. Setting and hardening mechanism of cement. Cement, when mixed with water, forms a plastic mass called cement paste. During hydration reaction, gel and crystalline products are formed. The concept of hydration is nothing but adding up of water molecules, that is hydration. The interlocking of crystals binds the inner particle of aggregate into component rock like materials. The process of solidification comprises of two things one is setting, second one is hardening. Setting is defined as stiffening of original plastic mass, and that is due to initial gel formation. And the hardening is defined as strengthening of the mass due to crystallization. So, these two things is important in deciding the setting hardening mechanisms. Gelation, as well as crystallization. So let us discuss about the chemistry behind this both gelation process and well as the crystalline process. Here we highlighted the sequence and chemical reaction involved in setting and hardening process. Initially we are mixing the water and cement and getting in the form of paste. After one day the hydration of tricalcium aluminate and tetracalcium Fluorine occurs at the end of 7th day, gelation of tricalcium silicates at the end of 28th day, gelation of dicalcium silicates and tricalcium silicates occurs. Okay, let us have a discussion in detail regarding the chemistry of uh, setting and hardening. When a cement is mixed with water, the paste becomes rigid within short time, which is known as initial setting. And this is due to the hydration of tricalcium aluminate. Once a water molecule is getting added up to the tricalcium aluminate, that is uh, C3A, gel formation of tetracalcium aluminate ferrite occurs. See, here, this is the formula of tricalcium aluminate. We are doing the hydration process. Hydration means adding of water. So once the water is added, it gets converted to Hydrated tricalcium aluminate crystalline and it is having an energy of 880 kilojoule. Okay, this hydration process makes the material more crystalline and this is due to the hydration of calcium aluminate and gel formation of tetracalcium aluminum ferrite. Okay. To avoid early setting of uh, C3A, gypsum is added, which acts as a retarding agent. So here in tricalcium aluminate, we are adding a gypsum. The chemical form of gypsum is calcium sulfate. And we are converting into calcium sulfo aluminate. So when you closely look at the chemical reaction, the number of water molecule required is 6 moles for the 3 moles of tricalcium aluminate. It is almost 1 is to 2 ratio. Similarly, the number of gypsum required is 1 is to 3 ratio. So the ratio of water as well as the ratio of uh, gypsum is important in deciding the crystalline nature. Next is tetra calcium aluminum ferrite. We are treating with the water molecule that is 7H2O and we are making in the form of crystalline material that is 3CaO, Al2O3, 6H2O. Plus calcium oxide, ferric oxide, ferric oxide plus water, and the energy is giving us 420 kilojoule per kilogram. Here, tetra calcium aluminum fluoride is converted into again tricalcium aluminate. Here, the hydrated water molecule is 7, here, the hydrated water molecule is 6. Next, during the day of 2 to 7, what are the chemical reaction occurs? Let us have a discussion regarding that. After hydration of C3A, that is tricalcium aluminate and C3S, tricalcium silicate, being to hydrate to form a 
tobamonide gel and crystalline calcium hydroxide this tobamonide gel chemical formula is calcium oxide and silicon dioxide two moles which is responsible for the initial strength of the cement so the chemical material that is the tobamonide gel and crystalline calcium hydroxide is the material deciding the strength of cement in the initial stage and later the hydration of tricalcium silicate gets completed within 7 days let us have a discussion in detail regarding the chemistry of this process tricalcium silicate during hydration if we closely look at this equation the number of moles required is 2 moles of tricalcium silicate and 6 moles of water is required that is 1 is to 3 ratio and that leads to the formation of turbomonide gel that is trihydrated trihydrated means three molecules of water is getting attached to the turbomonide gel and crystalline calcium oxide hydroxide so this turbomonide gel formation is responsible for the initial strength of the cement and the energy is equal to 500 kilojoule per kilogram next turbomonide gel possesses a very high surface area and very high adhesive property so this is a major and important reaction that decides the strength of the cement that is due to the adhesive property of the turbomonide gel now let us have a discussion regarding the chemistry occurs between day 7 to 28 dicalcium silicates react with the water very slowly and gets completed in 7 to 28 days and the chemistry is the dicalcium silicate required is 2 2 moles and the water is 4 moles that is 1 is to 2 ratio and that leads to the formation of turbomonide of 3 moles and crystalline material that is calcium hydroxide and in this case the energy release is 250 kilojoule per kilogram again here before day 7 there is the initial formation of turbomonide gel that is responsible for the initial strength of the cement after day 7 Again, the same turbomonide gel is responsible for the strength of the cement. But here the difference is, this is creating the strength due to the adhesive property of turbomonide gel. And this is further strengthening the material during the second process that is dicalcium silicate with water that occurs during 7 to 28 days process. Increase of strength is due to the formation of turbomonide as we discussed we discussed earlier and crystalline calcium hydroxide of both C2S and C3S. What is C2S? That is dicalcium silicate and tricalcium silicate. When cement is mixed with water, hydration, hydrolysis and gelation reaction starts and some heat is liberated. What is the concept of hydration and hydrolysis? What is the difference between hydration and hydrolysis? Hydration means adding up of water molecule to a system. Hydrolysis means by adding the, the water molecule is getting ruptured or cleaved. That is hydrolysis. Is it clear? So hydration means adding up the water. Hydrolysis means rupturing of water molecule in a gelation reaction. Here we listed out the heat of hydration in each and every process of uh, both compounds. That is tricalcium aluminate, tricalcium silicate, tetracalcium aluminum fluoride, and dicalcium silicate if you closely look at the table the heat of hydration is more for tricalcium aluminate so this initial process only decide the strength of the cements so on an average around 500 kilojoule per kilogram of heat is evolved during the complete hydration of cement so the overall energy is equal to 500 kilojoule now this is very very important stage in the setting and the horning mechanism of cement that is role of gypsum. The chemical name of gypsum is dihydrated calcium sulphate. If it is calcium sulphate, that is anhydrous. Anhydrous means without water. So dihydrated calcium sulphate is the correct name of gypsum. Let us have a discussion. What is its actual role in designing the setting and holding mechanism? Dicalcium aluminate combines with water very rapidly with the evolution of large amount of heat. So here. The reaction is hydration. Hydration means addition of water to the tricalcium aluminate and leads to the formation of 
exahydrated tricalcium aluminate with the heat liberation after the initial set the paste becomes stiff adding gypsum retard the dissolution of tricalcium aluminate forming insoluble calcium sulfoaluminate so we are retarding this process above process that is the formation of exahydrate tricalcium aluminate by adding a gypsum material so what is the chemistry occurs during the addition of gypsum material the process involves it is retarding the reaction by dissolution of tricalcium aluminate by forming the insoluble material such as calcium aluminum silicate that insoluble material is this one calcium aluminum uh, sorry sulfo silicates aluminates or silicates or silicates having a heptahydrated molecules the above reaction shows how gypsum retard the early initial stage of uh, set of cement so as a whole the role of gypsum is very very important in desiring the retardation mechanism in general this calcium tricalcium aluminate and uh, tricalcium silicates all these materials plays a vital role in setting and hardening mechanism of cement and the hydration process and the hydrolysis mechanism that is gelation as well as the crystallization decides the setting and hardening process of cement and again the role of cement plays a vital role in desiring the setting time next setting time and factors of thing when a cement is mixed with water it hydrates hydrate means to get converted into water dot 6s2o or 5s2o molecule and make cement paste this paste can be molded into any desired shape due to its plasticity within this time cement continues with reacting water and slowly cement start losing its plasticity and uh, set harder this complete cycle is called setting time of cement the initial setting time is the exact moment where the concrete start to harden and that is due to the formation of the turbomolite gel in theory this time starts as soon as the water is added to the cement the final setting time is the moment the concrete has hardened enough so that few millimeter square needle no longer penetrate the surface the important factors affecting the setting times are composition of cement that is very very important in deciding the setting hardening mechanism number 2 amount of gypsum in cement so the percentage of gypsum is very very important in uh, deciding the setting time because that will only retards the uh, setting time and decides the setting time and uh, delays the process of hardening mechanism and fineness of cement the particle size is very very important it should be homogeneous it should not be heterogeneous and curing process that is spraying water or chemical curing or electrical curing this we discussed in the stage of uh, cement concrete manufacturing process and the water cement ratio that is very very important and type of admixture used that is nothing but the gypsum and the storage of cement how we are storing a cement if you are storing the cement in highly moisture condition again it get harder so immediately the setting and hardening mechanism occurs should be stored under a very dry condition so as a whole the setting time and the factors affecting is what we discussed is very very important in deciding the setting and hardening mechanism process thank you